So unfortunately, no pets on the trail here, um, which means our towering trio is down to two. So the towering duo. Towering duo. Uh, we're Zazless. She so. is being watched by our camp host for the day, and then that way we can have a little freedom to explore for the few hours we're out here. Yep, so we're just gonna start the Alcove House Trail and throw some video together and show you all about the ladders that we're gonna climb up to the Alcove House at the top. So it should be fun and very interesting. It's a beautiful day. It is a gorgeous day. It's a little cool, actually. I have my uh, puffer jacket on, yeah. and in Tucson, it's almost 100. All right, yeah. here's so the start of the trail. Um, they We're half a mile out from the alcove house, and this is how they scare you with their health problem signs, which I guess is good, but also a little intimidating. And here we are at one of the many stream crossings. I got a photo of the guy painting at the last one. Yeah, so there's a clip of a couple artists that are from the University of New Mexico. Here we are, climbing the first ladder up to the alcove house. They got that sign there to steer him away, but it seems pretty straightforward. Stephanie's there first, as always. Here we are, a little transition, narrow walkway. It's a little windy. Sorry, I don't have the microphone but we'll make do. It is narrow. It reminds me of that one in Phoenix called Fat Man's Pass. Yeah. Very opposite of that. <laughs> With the creek down below. So this is- And the second main ladder. There's Stephanie, almost all the way to the top. Like yeah. Well, that's why I'm down to catch her. Very neat, very worth the trip if you're ever in the area. Again, Bandelier National Park. It's only about a half mile from the visitor center to this point. Shouldn't take you too long if you have some decent lungs. So this is the third ladder. Stephanie's coming right up, right behind me. I jumped in line here, but pretty awesome. One. More. <laughs> this is no big deal. <laughs> so here's the top. Let's see if we'll get some focus. Here we go. So they don't want you going past the rope, but this give you a really nice idea. Yeah, it must be. Looks like we got a hot tub over here. I got it closed, unfortunately. It says do not enter. Oh, but it's amazing how much cooler it is wow. just in the cave. Yeah. Now that we're out of breath, we're gonna take a little break. And now we're headed down. Yeah. Stephanie's going first. I'm going backwards which is probably not the best idea. So I'm gonna go ahead, turn the camera around here. And we'll get what the view that I see. Pretty fun. They're, yeah, Stephanie's making a comment that they're very, very slick. So yeah, it, they've been polished over the, the years. But very fun. A little more treacherous going down than it is. And again, down the narrow section. Barely even get your feet in there. It's about a size 13 wide. And the final ladder. Here we are. Short one. And then you're done. That's it. So, that didn't feel like no, it did not feel like 104 Their steps. Their actually make it seem a lot scarier than it is. Yeah, they're, they're kind of warn, warning off people, I think. So it's really not that big a deal. Well, yeah, for the average. We do quite a bit of hiking in Tucson and we were thinking, and this was piece of cake, to be real. 
Absolutely, the sign scared you off. You gotta show them the sign. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. So we stayed at Bathtub Row Brewery yesterday. Um, it's a co-op up in Los Alamos, probably less than 20 or 30 minutes from uh, National Bandelier National Park. Bandelier National Park. And that's where we're at right that's now. That's where we are right now. The Alcove House is the trail that's a little further out off the beaten path. That's the one um, we just got back doing. Definitely uh, recommend it. It's a little less traveled. Um, it's not as bad as the signs seem. They were a little intimidating driving up. We'll show you on the way in. It looks like it was a lot further than it is, and they don't give you any mileage. Yeah, they just put it up there to scare away the people that maybe are unfit or i don't know but it was yeah. a little misleading <laughs> so, if you're an outdoorsy person you'll be fine it's, yeah it totally a piece of cake um rob gave us really great recommendations he's the assistant manager over at the brewery yeah um he's the one that had mentioned coming out if you're not afraid of heights you've got to check this spot out it's a little less traveled make sure um, again do the alcove house and do the ladder hike up to the and of course the video that you just finished watching if you got to this part so um you were going to mention white sand stephanie not oh too yeah, far so away. Um, you got to give him the full story though. So last night at the brewery, he had a beer called Hoppenheimer. Hoppenheimer after Oppenheimer, the scientist that of uh, head of the Manhattan Project. That's wh where they built the first atomic bomb in Los Alamos. So if you ever visit the town, this is just down the street. Stop by Bathtub Brewery, Bathtub Row Brewery. The and a hike travel trailer. We used to have a Class C. We swapped over so that we can unhook and explore a little more. Plus the ground clearance is really great. Of course, I don't know if Derek mentioned this earlier cause I wasn't in the earlier videos, but he's six, six, I'm six foot. We have a great Dane with us. So three tall roommates yep. and we all fit in this thing. Yes, it's it's quite awesome actually. Um, very capable in all facets. So but I digress. Anyway, I wanted to say more about the hike that we went on um, down at Bandelier National Park. Um, down, down to the Alco Alcove House. Yes, Alcove, Alcove House. House. So it came out to. Um, you can see that. Just over three miles. Yep. It took us an hour and 20 minutes or so. We were hoofing it because yep. we're on a little bit of a time constraint to get to our next spot. Um, add, a, add a few minutes for pitchers and yeah. water stop at the top. 